Hey, Simon here, and today I would like to show another version of this effect. Um, we see the sparkles inside the card here, but some of them can also leave the card. Uh, before I use the dev events, so um, the particles would hit a little box up here, which has the size of the card, die, and then recreate another particle, which uses a different renderer. But uh, thanks to um, Ultra Capitalist Utopia, I found a different solution, or he found it, or she found it for me. But um, I tested it now and it works very well and I would like to show you how uh, it works. So just to show you how it would look like uh, without anything. So here is the card again and if I would do nothing with my particles it would look like this. We see the sparkles nicely but we only see it where we have the stencil buffer and the stencil buffer just to show you is um, here, okay, the card has a stencil buffer, only there the sparkles are usually uh, visible, which is nice, but like you see, they cannot exit the card door, basically. And um, let me just close these things. So if I use the, um, uh, or if I add the, the second um, uh, renderer, then we see the sparkles everywhere. This is, of course, also not uh, perfect. So let me show you how the basic idea is. The basic idea is that all the particles are using first the first renderer with a render visibility tag of zero and a, a, a material which does not render the sparkles uh, if they are not in the render stencil, in the stencil buffer, what you saw, saw before. The second renderer has no limitations. Um, as you can see, the particles are just uh, rendered as they were there forever, and it has a render visibility tag of 1. And to this render, we want to switch as soon as the particles leave this card. So that's the basic idea. All the other particles outside, uh, like higher than the card itself, uh, should be uh, killed at some point. So how do we do that? This is uh, not uh, so complicated. We first create a new Scratchpad volume, uh, volume, Scratchpad module, sorry. And then we go back and we add a uh, kill uh, particles in volume. And we don't, I, I will delete this in a second. I just want to steal uh, <laughs> some stuff because we have to, let me put this here. Um, we want this node uh, is inside box. And I will copy everything which has a little spaghetti pointing to this box. So it's this, this, and this. We just uh, copy this, I close it here. I go into the scratch pad here and whoop, paste everything. So this we just copied, we don't need this. Now we can uh, connect the spaghettis so that everything works again. Okay, and then here position to the point in the in the box. So this is already working and we can make a little test. We can make an if and say, hey, um, set the visibility tag for the particle. Every particle has that and this defines which renderer it uses. And now we can connect this and say, hey, if this particle is in the box, it should uh, use render one which has no limitations, or if it's not in the box, then it can use renderer uh, zero. And then I can delete this uh, kill in volume because, yeah. Problem is we have a lot of errors here and the only way I found to um, get rid of them because they say something with, oh, kill shape is not defined, but if you search here for kill, uh, it's already like that, or you search here for kill, you don't find anything. So. Um, what I noticed is I just get rid of all these unused uh, pins which seem to have something in common with the kill shape. Somehow they seem to require a kill shape defined even though I don't know exactly why. When you apply now you will see that uh, we have only one error now with the box size and to get rid of that just uh, remove the box size, reconnect it again and this should be uh, done. And now I will set the box size here to 350, 750 and 50 and a little bit higher here, 25. This is uh, exactly the size our card has. 
Okay, and we can already see when we look from the side that some particles can reach outside, but then they die. And this is because the box is not very high. And as soon as they leave the, the box, we just define the volume, they get, of course, um, assigned render a zero again because they left the box. So that's not perfect. So let me just copy this here. I'm a bit bad in explaining these logic things, but the basic idea is we read the visibility tag um, of the particle which it already has, uh, uh, which, which it already had assigned before. And if this is zero or less than one, in that case zero, of course, then we return zero or one. And this is the value we use here a second. And basically what this does is as soon as a particle once reach this box, it will not return to uh, render zero. Again, it will stay um, yeah, uh, on render of one, which has no limitations. So, and it already works now. It's really nice. We can see that the particles which touch basically the card portal or card door or exit, they can leave now and are rendered without limitations. The problem is if we go here, we see, whoa, the, the other particles, they are not rendered, but they are technically still there. And we can easily uh, get rid of them by making another box and I just connect uh, all of these no the origin no this is the origin this is the position of the point uh, and then the axis comes from here Boop. 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 and we define new uh, dimensions and I will call this kill because this will be um, a kill box okay and what this does is we I will set this to very high values 3000 by 3000 so it's a very wide but not very high box I will set it to 10 a height of 10 so we have another box now and we define when the particle is not in this box or when it is in the other box, in the smaller box, this means the particle is alive. And there is a set data set alive option. And when you set this, we should now see that, yes, the particles going into this very wide box we defined here. By the way, I also tried with plane, but for some reason it didn't work. So I, I make a not so high <laughs> uh, box now. Um, they are killed and only the particles which are really um, leave this this whole area by by the box defined with the size of a card they are kept and not killed and yeah the problem is now the particles live forever because you override this uh, option basically um, and we we have to read in what was the alive option before because when the lifetime ends for a particle, uh, this value is set, I think it's here in the particle state, I think. Uh, this is set to false, or to, yeah, to false if the particle is dead now, but we override this again down here and say, no, 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 the particle is still alive. So that's not good. So what we can do is we just take this alive value which was uh, set before and we say only if this option, so when, when, when it is alive and our alive definition is true then we set this here and now we should see that the particles are actually dying at some point after 10 seconds and they are also killed by our volume so now it is optimized and visually pleasing because we can look here we see many particles down there uh, deep inside the, the underworld basically but those particles up here, uh, if they make it through the portal, then they can live uh, happily ever after.